Erskine is uh, considered by the county in their municipal development plan to be a, a growth area or a ha growth hamlet and currently it doesn't have any kind of plan for it uh, to guide the future development and growth of the, of the hamlet. So county council decided to hire a consultant and go through the public participation of uh, getting a plan put together for what people see as concerns and issues and desires in their community. I think uh, Mr. Gender has been the councillor for a couple of terms in Erskine. He's been working very hard at it. Um, he's always had a vision that Erskine can be more than it is. Um, myself, I grew up there and I, I understand what Erskine used to be and I see lots of potential there. It's the biggest um, hamlet within our borders and I think we feel that there's, there's a ton of potential there. The, the plan um, contains a uh, landscape analysis by the consultants who are um, sounded like an associate from Calgary. They looked at the landscape of uh, the natural landscape of the hamlet as it was before the hamlet was built. They looked at the historical landscape and they uh, identified some of the more uh, important features of those landscapes. And then they had a consultation with the public last summer where they uh, uh, talked to the public and uh, did a little bit of a walking tour and then sat down and went through a workshop process where they identified the most pressing issues in Erskine and what people see as uh, the things that they treasure in the community and how they want to see it grow in the future. Uh, the step part, uh, Main Street, they certainly don't want to change too much Main Street. They don't want the uh, meridian down the center of it. They want to still have that open boulevard look, uh, some enhancement for parking, etc. Uh, some uh, trails, perhaps, uh, along the highway for access so people don't have to go out onto the highway. Uh, the other thing was addressed was the sidewalk. So uh, a couple main corridors, because Main Street and Prospect Avenue do have a fair amount of traffic on, those were the two corridors only uh, identified for putting sidewalks. Other than that, uh, most people can walk right down uh, their streets and uh, not have a problem. Um, bringing the Main Street into people scale, that it wasn't just a big wide open space, but somewhere that people could um, come walk and still feel um, not so that it's, it's a wide open space, but yet it's still an open space. Uh, the one thing that comment was brought up too is that at the end of each street, if you look all the way down, and it is on a grid pattern for the most part, you can see into an open field. And, I, and people really, for some reason, identified with that and, and quite enjoyed it. They thought it was, a, um, it was one of those factors that made Erskine, Erskine. The public was involved through uh, the workshop last summer where the consultants came down and uh, basically invited the whole community as well as the adjacent landowners to participate in a workshop. And that workshop started off with a little bit of a walking tour uh, where people were able to show the uh, councillors and the consultants some of the more interesting features of their community, some of the problem areas and those were mostly stormwater related, uh, sidewalk issues and stuff like that. And um, then we went back into the uh, community hall and had a workshop where people sat down and went through a process of identifying the, the things they like about Erskine, the things they don't like, and the things they'd like to see built upon in the future. For one of the community plans that uh, we've worked on, I've uh, been here for seven years now, I was delighted to see how well the community came together in this one. It was, they were brainstorming, they were positive manners, they had 101 different ideas what to have a community, but the biggest one, don't change it. And I, I think the biggest thing is that, and, and I think a, a lot of credit goes to Johan in our development department too. He really took, uh, took on this project and, and actually today was the day that we, we passed, the council passed the concept plan. Um, and we're moving forward. We also uh, passed the um, small budget to do the water, the stormwater management, um, to have the engineers have a look at that. So we are slowly moving forward. Again, this isn't going to happen overnight and, and Johan has very much said that that was, um, it is a project that's going to continue. We needed somewhere to start from and um, the fact that we passed the concept plan, it isn't the end, this is just the beginning and I, I think I made that comment in council. We are going to have 
moving forward, we're going to have lots of good experience, hopefully, with what's going on. And we needed that. If we would have started this 20 years ago, we would be that much further ahead.